Affairs Analyst Syed Mustafa Khoshashim, that jo who joins us now live from Tehran. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Now, first off, give us an idea of how important of a figure Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was for the people of Iran. Hello, and thanks for having me. Well, uh, Dr. Fakhrizadeh was uh, an innovative uh, uh, scientist, a scholar, uh, the person who has done a lot for the country uh, with regard to uh, different areas of science and technology. You know, uh, the part that uh, he was responsible for, it dealt with uh, new and modern high-tech, new areas of high-tech, uh, like uh, he was responsible for developing Iran's first uh, coronavirus uh, test kit. Also, he was in charge of uh, one of the five Iranian uh, uh, coronavirus uh, development program and uh, the, the, the kind of uh, vaccine that he was uh, developing alongside his uh, colleagues is now at the human trial and clinical tests, actually. Uh, so uh, he was dealing with various areas of science and technology in, uh, uh, at the Iranian Defense Ministry. There is a major part where uh, they deal with uh, new uh, uh, areas of science, and they call it edge of science, actually. So he was very, very much important for the country, of course. Right now, um, is this weapon that was allegedly used to kill him um, that has been made in Israel the only proof that the Iranian government has that makes them sh so sure that Israel is responsible for his killing? Well, you know that uh, uh, in addition to that, uh, the Israeli regime was the first to uh, mention his name. Uh, the first time that Dr. Fakhrizadeh's name was mentioned it was by uh, the Israeli uh, uh, intelligence agency. In reports back in 2003, uh, which was later proved to be uh, just alleged studies but uh, fabricated by the Israeli Mossad agency, and then uh, uh, it was called laptop documents. Later, they were called alleged studies. Uh, they were transferred to the MKO, the Mujahideen al organization, by the Israeli Mossad agency. They were presented to uh, the European intelligence agencies, specifically the German intelligence uh, chief has told uh, the American investigative journalists uh, uh, that uh, these documents, as soon as we saw them, we realized that they were fake and fabricated. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, they, uh, 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 they pushed it back and they, they rejected the authenticity of these laptop documents where Dr. Fakhrizadeh's name has uh, apparently been mentioned. But uh, uh, the German intelligence chief says a year later when we were approached by our American counterparts from the CIA to show us the same laptop documents, we're, we were surprised. Mm -hmm. How come uh, they have not realized, are they really naive to not realize that these uh, laptop documents are not genuine? So the first time, uh, uh, the first major issue that was raised by um, uh, the American and Israeli agencies back mm -hmm. in 2002 and 3, with regard to alleged studies by Iran, uh, his name was mentioned by the Israeli Mossad agency. Later, the IAEA, after a decade of hues and cries and sanctions and resolutions against Iran, right. they dismissed the case totally, saying that they were not genuine. Iran has not conducted any kind of uh, nuclear weapons program. Uh, so. Right. Uh, uh, there, there is a book called The Iran Nuclear Scare, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, written by the U.S. investigative journalist. Uh, it, it mentions all the documents and interviews with the European okay. intelligence chiefs, all explaining that the P why the PMD case of Iran's nuclear program has been dismissed because they were fake. Uh, okay. So the, the Israelis were the ones that in, they, they received the merits of raising his name, and Netanyahu back in 2018 raised his name uh, uh, in front of the public. So right. they enjoyed, they were the, the main party that enjoyed the merits of uh, his assassination and terror attack and okay. killing him. All right, I'm going to have to end that there. Said uh, Mustafa Khushchashim, thank you so much for joining us on the program and sharing that analysis.